What's good, YouTube? And welcome back to a brand new video. Look, man, if y'all new into the channel, I need y'all to do me a few favors. Number one, like this video. I'll appreciate it. Number two, subscribe to the channel. I'll appreciate it. And number three, make sure y'all turn on that bell, man. So whenever I drop a new video, you will be notified. Once again, I'll appreciate it. Today's shout out goes to Roy Austin Jr. Once again, shout out to Roy Austin Jr. Also, if y'all not following me on Instagram, make sure y'all go over there and follow me at LaPaul underscore. That is L-I-P-A-U-L underscore. Especially if y'all want to say a different side of me from here on YouTube. So here in today's video, bro, I'm going to be giving my thoughts about Mr. Cryer doc documentary, my bad, documentary that he dropped last night. I think he said he's going to drop another one, and I'm going to give my thoughts on that one too. Now, I know that I said last video was probably going to be my last of 2023, but I did tell y'all, though, if something happened that I felt like I wanted or I had to do a video on, I was going to give y'all another one, man, before the end of this year. We only got a couple days left at the end of this year, man. I hope everybody had a good 2023, and I hope that everybody have a better 2024. But yeah, man, like I said, here in today's video, we're going to be talking about Mr. Cryer documentary. I'm going to just say part one of the documentary. But with all of it out of the way, let's get into the video. All right, man, I'm not going to go in like order. If y'all want the visuals and all that stuff, I would recommend that y'all go watch Mr. Cryer documentary because I ain't going to lie. It was some stuff that I knew about Mr. Cryer, but that's the whole point of a documentary, though, right? You get to learn stuff about people that you didn't know about them before. And I'm going to just say this, bro. I'm going to just say this right off the bat. I did not know Cryer had a younger brother, bro. And I didn't know that he had his brother on this channel before. Maybe that happened before I started watching Mr. Cryer. I don't know. And then I was like, dang, Cryer, dark skin. His brother, light skin. I think he said they had the same mother, but they probably don't have the same father. I don't know, man. But like I said, I ain't really going to be going into order for real. Like I said, y'all can go watch it for yourselves. But it was one thing that really stuck out to me, bro, in Cryer documentary. And that is, I did not know about him almost getting shot by the police, bro. That's crazy. Because Cryer, he went back to his um his old, you know, where he grew up at his old place, his old house and all that. And he said how stuff looked the same. And it's crazy, bro, because how you go to a place or how you grew up at a place and you go back there, what, 15, 20 years later, and it's the exact same way, bro. And it just bring back so much nostalgia, so many memories. It's just crazy, bro. You be just thinking like, man, this is crazy. Especially like when it was dangerous around there. You you, you got to thank God because you, you look at it like, look, I grew up and I made it out. You know, I didn't have to get put in the grave or any or anything else happening like that. Now, Cryer did go to jail, but who knows, though? Cryer going to jail might have just saved his life because if he didn't go to jail, you know, like he said, he was in a street gang or whatever. That probably would have ended bad for him if he didn't wind up in jail. Now, Cryer, he did say, you know, he almost lost his life in the alley or whatever. You know, he was saying how he had a knife in his hand and he was ready to go after his mom ex because he said he threw an orange at him, <laughs> which is crazy. I believe he said an orange. He threw an orange at him or whatever. And he was going back and forth. Cry your head a knife. You know, I guess he was going to stab him. But the people called the police. He said his neighbors must have called the police and stuff. And the police was like, look, they pulled up. Cry you still had the knife on him. They like, look, put the put the knife down or we're going to start shooting. It's good that Cry your drop that knife even though he was a hothead it's good that he dropped that knife man because some police they probably wouldn't even you know gave him that many chances they probably would have just started firing who knows and this is another crazy thing bro about that documentary right so cryer was talking about how it was a crooked police officer well he believed that the officer was crooked and you know a other couple of people thought that as well and Cryer was saying, you know, how he pulled up at a club, you know, he was bumping music. It was also music that was inside of the club, but he was bumping music in his car. He was just pulling up to the club and a cop came out there really tripping. Long story short now, y'all, I'm not going to go into every single detail. These are just my quick thoughts. And I'm telling y'all the stuff that I remember about the documentary. I actually watched it yesterday. Yeah, I watched it yesterday. So I'm giving my thoughts on it today. But yeah, man, so he pulled up at the club. The cop come outside telling me he need to 
you know, turn the music down. And Cry just said, you know, before he even got any words out of his mouth, the officer straight smacked him. <laughs> Yo, that is a wow, bro. That is wild. Cryer said that, you know, he messed his ear ring up. Like, Cryer had a hoop. His ear was bleeding and all that. Like, officer pulled him out of the car. I'm just thinking, like, and I'm trying to visualize this stuff happening. And I'm just like, bro, that is crazy, bro. That is crazy. And then he went into, you know, how um, basically he felt disrespected. So, you know, somebody that he knew had gave him a shotgun. But Cryer was saying that. You know, when he went back to the club, this time he pulled up in a different car and he was waiting for the officer to come out and he had the shotgun on him. Now, Cryer did make it clear that, you know, he wasn't going to shoot the officer. He was just going to shoot the gun in the air for real, I guess, to get the officer attention. Then people were saying he shot at the officer. I think he said that the officer even said, yeah, he shot at me. Blase, blase. Cryer wind up doing time for that, too. And it's crazy, bro. I just want to say this too. Cryer was putting up community posters and stuff, you know, of him when he was younger and all that. And I'm like, yo, Cryer looked the exact same way. It's crazy how he still looked the same for real from 20, 25 years ago. He just had braids and stuff back then, but he looked the exact same. Like, that was crazy, bro. Cause you know, like how some people their features change and stuff when they get older. Cryer looked the exact same. Like, that, that's wild. But yeah, also in that documentary, he was saying, you know, how he had a gun or whatever. You know, you got to cock it back for it to shoot or whatever. And he said that his friend had his hand right there. And Cryer cocked it back and it shot him, shot his friend in the, in the hand, put a hole through his friend's hand. And I'm just like, bro. But Cryer was saying that he had his hand right there. And, it even, and, it, and it's also crazy because Cryer said that. Even his homeboy knew it was an accident, but his homeboy tried to make it seem like Cryer did it on purpose for real. So I'm just like, that that's that's kind that's kind of shady, bro. That's kind of messed up, bro. That he he tried to make it seem like Cryer did that on purpose, knowing that Cryer was gonna go to jail for that. If that was your man's, you shouldn't have did that, bro. That's just crazy in my opinion. Yeah, man, but it was good, you know, to see where Cryer grew up at, you know, get to know more about Cryer and his upbringing and all that. And he also was saying, you know, how it was a girl that lived up the street that he wanted to talk to, but he was too scared. He also was talking about how, you know, his mom had gave, I forgot who he said, his mom had gave somebody $5 to go get tacos from Taco Bell. You know, and he wound up getting killed because he stopped off and tried to get some drugs or whatever, but that didn't turn out too good for him. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy. And I feel like I'm also missing some other stuff that I want to talk about as well. And by the way, Cryer, he looked it just like his mom. He looked it just like his mom. R.I.P. to Mr. Cryer's mom. R.I.P. to Mr. Cryer's brother. I believe that he lost his brother as well. I'm not really sure. Like I said, yo, I seen it yesterday. I seen it yesterday. So if I'm wrong about that, I apologize. But I will tell y'all, y'all should go watch it, man. Because it was definitely an interesting documentary. And I can't wait to see the other part. I really can't. But I will tell y'all this, though. I'll tell y'all this, though. The way that Cryer ended that documentary, bro, and that was a good cliffhanger. That was a good cliffhanger, bro. And it's crazy because, like, all the stuff that he went through, they even had it in the newspaper. His brother even had, like, you know, like a news clipping, an old news clipping or whatever that had what happened on it. You know, basically everybody know about, you know, the crime or whatever or the stuff that Cryer did back in Fort Wayne. And I'm just like, man, this is crazy, bro. It's crazy. And it's crazy that his people still had a picture of what he did. And that was years ago. But yeah, man, like I said, these are just my quick thoughts. Like I said, I'm not going to go, you know, like scene for scene, you know, of everything that he talked about for real. These are just my quick thoughts. And I was talking about the stuff that I remembered. But I will say this, man. Go watch that documentary, man. It was pretty good, bro. I will recommend it for real. Like I said, I believe... I don't even know if he said when he's going to drop the second part. So I think he just said it's coming soon or continue. Something like that. But yeah, I can't wait. And when he dropped that, you know, I'm going to get my quick thoughts on that one as well. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a two-part documentary. Maybe it's going to be more, but I'm going to definitely be back here talking about it, man. 
if y'all seen the documentary already let me know what was the part that made y'all go wow i did not know that or like the part that shocked y'all man or y'all favorite part or whatever you want to call it bro let me know down in the comment sections below cryer 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 that was a good documentary my guy like i said i can't wait for the next part like subscribe comment do all that good stuff and i will be back with more content for y'all soon i'm out peace y'all have a blessed night